And here's a DGX station here, the NVIDIA. And uh, who are you? Hi, I'm uh, Marcus Weber. I'm actually the product manager for, D for that DGX station. So that looks like the most beautiful desktop in the world. What is this? It's absolutely beautiful. I think so, too. Why do you make it's it so golden? And <laughs> that's a design feature. So it just looks beautiful. Inside is all black, very nicely laid out. It essentially packs four of our most uh, powerful compute GPUs. So I'll just go right here. So uh, the most powerful NVIDIA GPU is right here. This is the 1080. What is this? It's a V100. V100. So a, that's above 1080? Yes. It's a Tesla from the Tesla product line, which is specifically for data center compute. Uh, four of them and the new Volta architecture, the V100. So um, were you already showing this and talking about this at, uh, at Computex uh, in June, right? That was since in Taiwan, Computex yeah. in Taiwan. Yeah, we so, did. S since when is this uh, shipping? So we actually announced this in May uh, this year at our own GTC conference, and now for about a month or so we have been shipping the systems. So um, you got four GPUs. What else is in here? Right, we have a very high-end Intel 20-core uh, Xeon CPU. Yeah. Uh, we have 256 uh, gig system memory. Uh, what's also special about it is that those four B100s are connected with NB-Link, so it makes them being able to talk to each other much faster than just over the PCIe bus. And of course, it's water cooled. So here we have the water cooling system uh, that really keeps the GPUs nice and cool, and therefore the whole system extremely quiet. Quiet. So uh, is this for supercomputing guys to sit and uh, do supercomputing development? Exactly. What is this for? So it's both uh, for deep learning training workloads, uh, first of all, but you certainly can use it also for GPU accelerated uh, HPC workloads. Uh, so, what's the price? The list price on it is 69,000 US dollars. So, do you have many customers already? We have many customers already. Of course, I can't tell too much about that. They're uh, like all like uh, the high-end uh, supercomputing employees of the world, right? So, the, all the uh, deep learning research institutions around the world, a lot of healthcare customer, automotive customers, uh, have this already, a lot of the big universities. So this Volta, how much of the Volta are you talking about in the booth here? Pretty much, maybe every booth is somehow related to Volta. That's our new chip architecture, right? The latest and greatest. That essentially tripled the performance since last year when we launched Pascal. So uh, can you uh, maybe one or two highlights? Where, where would you show? Should we look over there? Sure, this, this one. one. So, yeah. So what are we looking at here? This is the DGX One. So this is the server form factor of our DGX product line. This has actually eight of the greatest C uh, GPUs in it, the V100. And this is the uh, one. This is actually the actual GPU, exactly. Uh, so it's just a GPU with a. What is going on? with uh, GPU memory right next to it. And this is the form factor that goes into the server base. So you can see eight of those here. Those things you see here, of course, are the heat sinks that keep them cool uh, with air. So all, every chip is basically underneath, mounted underneath those heat sinks. All right. No, 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 uh, no. So if I go right here, uh, what, what are you talking about here? Well, there you probably should start asking other people to be very honest. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there are specific ones that are cool to look at. Yeah, I mean, we have a running DGX station over there. Let's check there. it out. So this guy would be perfect for that. Yeah? Right up above, like, the size of the trying to do some indication because this jump there, this jump over there. Maybe, yeah, we need to try to pull him over. Do you want to talk on video? I talked about your own system, right? 
Do you want to talk shortly about it? Yeah? Let's so, hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, I'm Ryan from NVIDIA. So, what uh, are you doing over here? All right, so this demo station, we're going to be running the same demo that we ran for Jensen's keynote. Uh, we're going to be doing, we're showing off our new uh, HPC containers. And so this example, we're going to be running the NAMD Molecular Dynamics Code from the, the University of Illinois. So when was that keynote? Is that uh, which keynote? Uh, that, was, that was earlier uh, Monday, so Monday at 3. Uh, don't worry, you can find it on Livecast. Yeah? So what, was the, what is it about? What does it do? Yeah. So you, all right, so maybe we should uh, jump in there and, so maybe you can sign right there. Okay. Because he's kind of going through it. Maybe we want to come back and do this when I can. Ah. Yeah, so he's, uh, so he's basically, what's it called? Uh, just because I'm filming in 4K60, I have a hard time editing this. Oh. It'd be great if we can try to just one -shot it? show something. Okay. When he, when try he, to explain what he's doing. When he, move, when he moves, I'll do it. How's yeah? that? Okay. You're really that you're doing 4K? Yeah, 4K 60. Oh wow. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jack. This is one half of a DTX charger. Sure, Yeah, so this there's four voltage. What's going on here in the screen? Let me just get it up and running. Uh, and, and, and the DTX server has Okay. Okay. So today we just uh, announced that we were we are distributing HPC container apps on our NGC cloud registry. So along with our deep learning frameworks uh, that we have here, we now have HPC applications: Games, Grow Max, Lamps, Yamdi, and Ryan. Uh These HPC apps, just like the deep learning apps, very complicated. Uh, difficult software to install and ma manage yourself, so we put them in containers. And containers makes life easy. Containers are really cool. Is it something to do with the, uh, what do you call it, the, that container, the smart no, I forgot the name. Uh, yeah. uh, Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm Docker? Or? Uh, Docker, there's Docker and... Yeah, yeah, so these are, this is a Docker container registry. Uh, and all you do is you choose to download the container. So you sign up, uh, you get an API key, and then you download the container to your system. And so here we started up the container uh, on, in this window, and we paused. Uh, and we paused waiting for a connection. Now we're going to connect this other molecular dynamics simulation to... So we're going to connect the visualization for the simulation to the container that's running the simulation. And we're going to now visualize uh, the molecular dynamics in action. So this is an HPC container running the simulation. This is the visualization connected to that, showing it in real time. And so you can see it if we, uh, you can see the molecules vibrating a little bit. So the idea is we want to run this for a long period of time and understand the, the, the dynamics and why the protein uh, is as stable as it is. Um, the last point I want to make, this, this graphic, um, oh, that's actually it. That's all I got. That's all you got, yeah? But uh, what, what are they doing over there? Is it all related with the V V100? Yeah. The, all the... Yeah, so this simulation over here. Is that in space? Is it in brain? Yeah, yeah. Is uh, it is in space. Uh, that is just, that's looking at the entropy field of a supernova uh, before the supernova event happens. So a supernova is when a star collapses into a black hole and just crazy happens. And they're like one of the more unique uh, astrophysical events in the, in the universe. Uh, and so this is a simulation of the entropy field. Uh, and this is a massive simulation uh, that they've run. And now they're using uh, containerized visualization frameworks uh, to visualize that result. Cool. Yeah. And they're right over there, they're doing stuff with cars? Let me look at that one. Dynamics, let, maybe? Let, me, let me check that one. I don't know so that one. It's just, uh, sorry, I'm putting it in the spot, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, this is, who's doing this one? Uh, do you want to talk to these guys? Because I don't know this Do one. you want to be in video? Can I ask you? Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thank you. So, so what are you showing here? So, this is ANSYS Discovery Live, and uh, this is first of its kind. And uh, what we show here is the CD design uh, uh, simulation. Uh, this sort of couples uh, the design tool and the uh, multiphysics simulation very tightly. So by that way, one could sort of really explore a lot of designs. For example, in this case, uh, we could create what-if scenarios like. Uh, 
I could just end up creating another copy of this whole track. So is it about our aerodynamics of cars or no? Yeah, this is the external aerodynamics. And what you see is a velocity plot here. So is this only possible to do on NVIDIA hardware? Yeah, this is like completely built on CUDA platform and it runs only on NVIDIA GPUs. So it, it won't run on CPUs, it won't run on uh, AMD GPUs, it's only on NVIDIA GPUs. Why? Why won't it run on something else? Yeah, because it's all on CUDA, built on top of CUDA. So, so it, it needs tons of GPU Yeah, at most it uses two GPUs in this case, one, one GPU for uh, visualization and another GPU for compute. Uh, but you could also end up doing both compute and visualization in a single GPU if that is what is necessary. Uh, nice. So there's a, is this an app? What is yeah, this? This is called Answers Discovery Live. And made by NVIDIA? Uh, the app is uh, made by Partner? a company called Answers. Answers. But they sort of use our NVIDIA technology. Nice. And uh, what's over there, do you know? Uh, developer zone. Yeah, so they have stuff going on yeah, with developers? Yeah, probably I'm not sure what exactly they're doing. I'm going to go hey, to... I'm going to introduce myself. Hey. I'm Mike Cooper. I'm a, I'm a PR guy for NVIDIA, yeah. so I just wanted to... Oh, I, mean, cool. I, I won't be on camera. Hell oh, no. you, you cannot be on camera? Are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't, I, I, you don't want me on camera. What's going on over there? Yeah, the we, developers. Yeah, I can get you the people that Can show. you introduce me over there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is, Is it okay if I film while, I, while I'm walking? Oh, okay. that's not my car. Yeah. Let me, let me go over there. I feel like queuing up with the NVIDIA juice. What is this? Something going on here. Sorry, can I jump in here? Yeah. So what kind of stuff is going on around here? Do you know somebody can talk about it? People are using uh, computers. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking this. I'm just going to check in there. So AI, HPC. And this is the Twitter feed. So the, oh, sorry, can I just try to film them? Yeah, so you can, if you get to watch the one of the windows, you can actually reach out and grab it using the trigger. Uh, yeah. That's cool. All right, it looks like. Um, So hi. So who, so who are you? And what are you doing around here? <laughs> Sorry, my, my voice is kind of dying. <laughs> uh, my name is Mark Ebersol. Um, I'm a training platform engineer. I run the training platform that the Deep Learning Institute uses to teach people how to do lots of really great things with deep learning and CUDA and OpenACC. So teaching people how to use uh, deep yeah, learning AI? Uh, deep learning, CUDA, OpenACC, basically how to solve their challenging problems with deep learning or CUDA or OpenACC or any of the other uh, technologies that are accelerated on GPUs. So during this week, uh, people are going to be doing that on this computer? Yeah, so, so DevZone, these are our self-paced labs. It's somewhat buffet style. You come in, you sit, you choose the lab you want to work on, and they're all self-paced. You work through at your own uh, pace. And then we have experts in our Ask the Expert area who can come and help you with your specific problems in your code. All right. Uh, so it's a developer for Zone, and it's developer something that, zone. Happen, that happens the whole year, not only during the show. So yeah, we do trainings all over the world at all our regional GTCs. Uh, we do the trainings at uh, Supercomputing was actually the first place we did this developer zone. I think it was Supercomputing 12. I mean, we've been doing it every year and it's always popular. It's a great way to get free hands-on training. So how hard is it to, to work, uh, develop on Supercomputer? To develop on a Supercomputer? Well, there's a lot of really challenging problems on Supercomputers. Um, our tools try to make it as easy as possible to get started. You know, OpenACC is a great way to take existing code and accelerate it with just a few compiler hints. Uh, deep learning is a great way if you have lots of data to go and start training on how to solve those problems. And then CUDA is really when you need to get in and fully optimize uh, your code to run on the GPU. So uh, the developers that can do supercomputing are kind of like the top developers, kind of? Yeah, it's a great crowd here at supercomputing. Like, you need to be an advanced developer to understand all the stuff for 
No, I mean, our, uh, getting started with CUDA labs, our Python labs are all very easy to get started with if you have a base understanding of the language. Um, and then so all yeah. this stuff works in all the NVIDIA GPUs, not only in the top end, the V100, right? Yeah. All those gamer GPUs. Yeah, like these laptops themselves have gamer GPUs in them, and you can write, you know, the same deep learning code you're running on a supercomputer, you can run on these laptops. Obviously, it doesn't run as fast because it's not quite as a high-end GPU, but you can still develop locally and then go deploy on a big supercomputer.